Good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on November 4th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And these were my skies today as I went as I went out and enjoyed the last little bit of sunshine that we had. As that cold front came in quickly. And here's some video footage I want to share with you as well. This was from the other day. There were no clouds in the sky, and then all of a sudden this popped up in front of the sun. And you can see all that high moisture just falling to the sky. It's That was almost eerie looking cloud. I wanted to share that. I always love to share my skies with you all. and This was an interesting share. Just look at that. See all the moisture falling out of the bottom of it? So cool. But thank you for joining me today. We're here to talk about weather, space weather, and disasters from around the world. And we're looking here at the Lasco 2 image showing the sun and all of its energy that is now affecting Earth as our solar wind speed has increased. And so have the earthquakes. Deep earthquakes we're gonna get into that soon I'm just gonna have a quick look at our Sun and you can see a corona hole leaving that was earth facing so now we're starting to get that corona hole stream increasing speeds to over 500 almost 600 kilometers per second looking at northern hemisphere southern hemisphere watching another coronal hole forming on the left side will be earth facing coronal hole again so yeah expect things to increase again just looking here at the last six hours for the solar wind speed just reaching 500 kilometers per second most likely will keep increasing over the next 12 hours and we've had a lot of deep earthquakes in result to that and this goes to prove right here how much space weather can affect our planet and this is our magnetospheric movie showing the wind speed as you can see at the beginning of the frames those pulses and then things really started to increase and move around see those pulses those were most likely the large earthquakes that went off in Russia and Indonesia a 6.0 and also a 5.9 that was today we're gonna get it in we're going to get into that by the end of the video so make sure you stay tuned through the whole video so you can get the full update on earthquakes as well just looking at the density graph here I've shown you these maps before and they change once the space weather really starts to affect Earth. Looking at seven day visible over North America, watching three large atmospheric rivers across the Northern Hemisphere, bringing another nor'easter to southeastern United States, Colorado low developing and heading east, as well as an Alberta low. Watch for those to join forces for a nasty nor'easter and also watching a lot of moisture coming in off of the BC coast and now producing a snowstorm in Saskatchewan heading east as well. And we're gonna get into the snowstorm and the cold temperatures. And right now I'm showing you over Alberta and north most of Canada. Temperatures reaching down to minus 13, 14 next week as a large high pressure polar vortex is formed and squeezing down, bringing a lot of cold air to the nor'easter. 
that's going to head east. But watch what this storm does in the Atlantic Ocean, the Bering Strait, over parts of Europe. So watch for a very large windy and rainy event in the coming week yet again to parts of Portugal, Ireland, London, pretty much all of Europe as that large low pressure system will be whipping the coastlines. And some really catastrophic events coming out of Italy. Uh, whole forests being flattened down by the large storm that went through there, the Medicaid Adrian, post-tropical. And then overlooking Russia, things really starting to cool off and it's swinging around the planet folks, but it's getting cold all the way down to the Mongolian mountains, bringing snow to Pakistan. Things are changing drastically. Thank you for joining me. I'm glad that you are because you are now staying aware and prepared as well as I and my friends and family from across the world. And I want to thank you all for joining and subscribing to Morning Dew. Make sure you hit that notification bell again and make sure that you're receiving all notifications. Kind of feels like I'm being shadow banned. The views are down. They're censoring me. And thanks for joining that live stream today. That was pretty cool. I wanted to give you guys a little walk around, a little virtual date in Calgary, Alberta. And thanks to everyone who, who joined me for that. And there's one particular fellow that I met on the train. I apologize that uh, during the time that he was saying hi to the camera, unfortunately, my battery was dead. It was dying. And yeah, so he ended up being cut out of the video. It's frozen with a look on my neck. But anywho watching cyclone development in the Indian Ocean and Australia receiving a pretty substantial rain event in the next few days as that atmospheric river comes in from the south and stretches pretty much across the continent high pressure ridge coming in bring a lot of cool temperatures still to Australia here we are overlooking the earthquakes now, the last 24 hours, and yes, it, seismicity has picked up this large 598 kilometer depth, 6.0 in Sapad, Philippines. And that was late, late last night, early this morning. We also had the Otrada, Russia, 5.9, Kodiak, Alaska, 4.4, but this is pretty particularly interesting here with the earthquakes right from Texas to New Mexico, Arizona, California, California, the geysers, Utah, minor earthquakes going off from east to west. So stay aware and prepared. Things are really shaken up. And when they start shaking up like that in that region, that's freaky. We've got a very large San Andreas and Cascadia fault line there that could affect millions of people. Deep earthquakes today in New Zealand. 554 kilometer depth, or sorry, in Fiji, and also another earthquake in Hastings, New Zealand. So this is a very busy 24 hours. But this area here in North America, as I said, particularly interesting. And I believe we need to be on watch. And we've been on watch now for a couple years. And yeah, maybe some conspirators have been saying that it's been coming for a hundred years. But you know what? I think we are really close to something big happening soon. So please stay aware and prepared and thank you all for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye.
If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.